So the net, so we were through the first phase, which was the uh, registering all of the user accounts, and the second phase, as we published in our in the article that Reese put out, uh, was minting the NFTs. We did hit a couple of roadblocks on that, uh, which was it, it actually turned out in the end that the uh, that all of the the reminting was going to take five to six days, uh, at at which point. Would, would have mean we would have had to take take the market offline for that amount of time so that was not something that was really acceptable so uh our team had been working with the immutable guys to work on uh optimizations on that and they are almost at a finish in fact i would imagine by the end of this week they will all be done uh and they've done a great job basically getting that down from five or six days to three hours so when that uh, reminting happens, uh, obviously, as as per normal, we'll put some information out there just to let you know that the market will be offline for maybe three or four hours while we go through that minting process. Um, and then once we're through that, uh, then it's it's basically on to the on to the next step. Uh, but this this oh. is the wonderful world of development where everything goes. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say <laughs> on that three to four hours. I'm just going to go ahead now and say it may take longer than that. So if it does, everybody yeah, yeah, relax. Let's, let's, let's have, let's have <laughs> Let's assume that. it will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think if we yeah. set that expectation, it will be a little bit easier to uh, to manage there. Okay, that's great news. Um, yeah, and we and we, and, and we, you know whenever we do just just so the audience knows, whenever we do need to take the uh, the core core features of the app uh, offline like that, we generally try to do it where there's the lowest the lowest amount of traffic to uh, you know lessen the the impact on on everyone. Yes, and if. Just in case anybody listening uh, isn't in the announcement channel, um, either on Discord, on the BB Discord, or in the Ecomi Telegram, uh, I would join those. That's that's where we drop those those kind of updates. Sometimes they go out last minute. Sometimes they we, we give a fair bit of warning. So if you're not already in those announcement channels, I would suggest uh, heading to them. Um, now, Dan, a few people have been waiting on uh, a little bit of information for the Master Collector program. Um, do we have some time to run through this and, and explain some of the finer details? Uh, we do, uh, and I'm delighted to announce the Master Collector coming out in 2023. <laughs> dot, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we just lost a whole lot of users. <laughs> Uh, no, the, no it's, uh, the, uh, the the scoping is coming together very well. So I thought today would just be a good opportunity for us to sort of run through in a little bit more detail about how it's going to work. Uh, and then we've got uh, Alex and the and the rest of the the marketing team are uh, just putting some final touches uh, into the document, so we can we can start to share that uh, with everyone. But yeah, so for uh, everybody who uh, who is wondering why that is not out yet, you can blame me. <laughs> that <blew> that thing <laughs> <out>. <laughs> I'll take all your fun. Yes. <laughs> Aim it towards me. Yeah. Thank, thanks, Alex. You can take that one. That'll be great. <laughs> all right. Uh, right. Let's do it. So um, now, as uh, I think I've touched on this a little bit in the previous AMAs, but really, you know, the Master Collector program is designed and is there as a as a retention and reward system for uh, for our collectors. So. And it's kind of geared in a way that the more of a collector you are, uh, the more you'll be able to benefit. Um, and that doesn't, that's not to say that, you know, if you're a low level master collector, you'll be discounted in any way. Um, but the, the master collector program is about, you know, uh, supporting those people who really are the true, the true collectors out there. So, um, there's a couple of ways that it works, and I think I touched on this last time, but I'll just cover it again. So there's going to be uh, really two main parts to the Master Collector program. Number one is your Master Collector level, and number two is your Master Collector rank. With the leveling, you will basically score points or earn points for a whole range of activities uh, within VV. And that includes um, two different categories, with category number one will be the one-off uh, points that you'll earn, and category number two is recurring daily points that you'll earn. So to give you an example, um, a one-off point uh, example would be uh, a new user comes in and they, they fully complete the onboarding process. Uh, they go through all the tutorials, which are coming soon, um, and they get through all of that. Boom! They're gonna they're gonna receive some one-off points. 
Uh, if you purchase a collectible in the store or the market, you're going to get a one-off point for that. If you complete a set, you'll get some points for that uh, in, in a one-off capacity. <clears throat> so the idea here is to, you know, encourage users to, to, to use these kind of core features in the app. And for that, you will get rewarded with a, with a one-off point, uh, one-off points. Uh, the second part is the daily recurring. Now, uh, for us, uh, you know, it's um, if, if you're a collector, and, and again, you know, we're, we're focusing very much on the collectors here, not necessarily the flippers. Sorry, guys, um, but you will basically receive daily recurring points based on a whole number of factors, which will be things like um, every collectible you own, uh, you will receive points. Every completed set you hold, you will receive points. Uh, every secret rare you hold, will, will, you will receive points. Uh, and the whole idea here is that each day, you will basically uh, start accruing these points. And then these points will go towards your, your master collector level. So very similar in gaming, um, you basically earn these points. And once you earn enough points to reach the, the next level, you will basically be leveled up. Now, the second part, oh, sorry, one more thing to touch on is that your daily recurring points uh, will be um, based, really based on activity. So if you don't, if you know, if you decide that, you know, whatever, VV is not for you, and then after, say, 30 days or, or 60 days, there's no, there's no activity on your account, as in you're not logging in, you will stop receiving those, <coughs> those daily points. Uh, and the reason for that is to make sure that we are rewarding those users who are still a very active part of the community, um, rather than those users who may have, you know, fallen by the wayside. Mm -hmm. The second last point on on the uh, on the on the recurring points is that we will be doing everything we can to apply points uh, retrospectively when the when we roll out the master collect program. So if you've been, if you're an OG and you've been collecting, you know, since way back in January, then then you effectively, we, we will calculate on our side, you know, what you would have received daily from then all the way up till now, plus any of the one-off points. So that will immediately, uh, you know, advance you to a specific level and you'll have a, have a whole bunch of these points, uh, which you can do things with, uh, which, I'll, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, now, the second part of the Master Collector is the rank. And the whole idea with the rank here is that <clears throat> I believe we have 20 different different ranks from your, your very entry level uh, right up to the very top rank, which is, you know, going to be called Master Collector or, I don't know, Grand Master, something like that. Um, and you will basically sit uh, somewhere in this ranking system based on uh, your points, your activity, and a bunch of other factors. And the reason we put this in is to ensure that um, there is, you know, always the opportunity for users to kind of move up or potentially down uh, those ranks um, outside of your leveling system. Because if we just have the leveling system, you know, people could effectively just uh, uh, infinitely level, and there would, it would be very difficult for other users to sort of catch up or, or obtain those higher levels. <clears throat> um, so for that reason, um, you know, we really thought the ranking system, you know, works very well. So, I mean, you, you might end up being a, a low rank, but perhaps you could have a, a very high level, um, depending on your activity and, and, you know, what you've purchased. Um, or, or you could ha have, a, have a higher rank and, um, uh, and, and, and a lesser level. So we'll be we'll be re releasing some more information about that in the article. Now, as you continue to earn these level points, um, you will be able to do things with them. So you can effectively spend these points. They're, they're not like gems or any any form of currency, but you can use them within the app to uh, do things such as we will have accessories that are, are available to be purchased uh, with points. Um, we will have uh, one of the features we'll be rolling out in the market is premium market listings. So, you know, if you're a very active user in the market um, and you want to, uh, you know, use your points to, to have your listing show, uh, you know, higher up the list or to get more exposure, again, you'll be able to spend your points uh, on that. 
Um, we will also be introducing a, a drop lottery system where you as a, as a user who has earned points can choose to wager those points in the drop lottery. And the way this will work is <clears throat> there will be a percentage of the additions uh, uh, available for the for the drop lottery. And then any user, um, a, a certain period of time before the drop, like let's just say it's going to be 24 hours, um, you will be able to start wagering um, uh, to, 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 to try to guarantee to get that collectible. Um, mm -hmm. So the way it will work is that um, you'll open up the, you know, what it, whatever it is, the drop lottery system, you'll choose an upcoming drop, you'll choose the collectible that you want to wager against, and then you can then wager your points um, to try to get a guaranteed slot. And whether you win or lose that will, base, will be based on how, you know, how much you wage, how much you wager against uh, relative to the other, the other participants. Right. Um, and then uh, 15 minutes or, or 30 minutes before the drop, uh, the, the drop lottery will close and users at that point will then get a notification in app to say that you were successful. And if you were, then you can basically just go ahead and buy that collectible or that collectible will be reserved for you at the time of the drop. So you just need to go in and buy it. Um, if you choose not to buy it for whatever reason, um, then that collectible will simply just go back into the public pool. So uh, again, the idea around the drop lottery here is to uh, encourage and incentivize users to to participate in the app so they can get these points and then through that they can have an advantage um, uh, in the drop by by wagering these uh, by wagering these points and like I say it's, it's only going to be a percentage of the collectibles available so it doesn't mean that you know no one else has has any chance um, again it's just making sure that uh, you know, there is a system or, or an incentive reward based system for, uh, for, the, for those collectors who are really participating very strongly. Awesome. Awesome. Just um, on that, you, you mentioned yep. um, <clears throat> that if you decide not to purchase that collectible, it would return to the public pool of collectibles. Would that user then lose the points that they wagered to secure the collectible or? Yes, you would. I mean, if yes. you, if okay. you, yeah, if you win, um, then those the, those points are basically burned, uh, yes. and if you, if you decide not to take it, um, then yeah, I mean, unfortunately, that's, that's a decision you'll have to make. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, perfect. I know if someone would ask that. Carry on, okay. good sir. <laughs> um, we will also be introducing uh, badges uh, for for certain achievements. So you know, whenever you uh, uh, say, for example, complete your first set or you complete your tenth set. Um, you will get a really cool little badge that you can show uh, on your profile. And then some of the achievement badges will also come in 3D. So, you, you know, you can basically decorate your, your showrooms. Again, it's just another flick. You know, I walk into Reese's showroom and he's just got a wall of badges. I'm going to be, wow, this guy's serious. You know, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to get a good deal out of this guy. So <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Um, and, and also, whenever you achieve a, a new badge or if you get a, um, a, a badge levels up, uh, you will also score points for that as well. So the whole idea is, yeah, really to just encourage users to uh, have these points, uh, sorry, to earn these points in the system. And then they can, because of their participation in the app, they can then use those points to, you know, whether it's just a gain. Uh, you know, cool looking accessories or uh, whatever for your showroom or whether you want to use them to participate in the drops. Um, and we will have other features rolling out in the future that you'll be able to, you know, use points on. So say, for example, like in the Viviverse, maybe you can buy uh, more than likely non-branded uh, accessories for your avatars. You'll be able to buy them with points as well. So it's just really a reward system. So, you know, you're, you're coming into our app uh, give it, giving us your eyeballs and we want to, you know, return that favour um, by allowing you to, to earn and, and spend these points effectively. Yeah, yeah. I think I think a quite, a quite a majority of people would understand a similar system, you know, from other gaming apps or, yeah. you know, badges yeah. and, and things, right? It, it should be relatively yeah. familiar. It's just, um, yeah, as you say. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, yeah, ultimately it, it, it really is just a, uh, like a gamification leveling type system. And I've obviously been working with um, everyone in the team from Trevor to Noah, Alex, um, you know, just to get some good input on, 
uh, on, on these kind of gaming mechanics. So, um, and then lastly, we will be bringing out one more uh, part of the MCP, which is called MCP Pro. And this will be a small amount of, um, uh, uh, sorry, this will, this will offer, uh, sorry, yeah, you'll pay a, a limited uh, monthly subscription of a very small amount, and that will give you advan extra advantages. So say, for example, if you want to become an MCP Pro user, uh, you might get extra percent uh, points on all activity. Um, or you might get a, an exclusive uh, content each month. Um, we're looking into additional features like uh, expanded functionality in the marketplace, like auto bidding or renting collectibles, um, or perhaps displaying the, uh, the rarity and addition number next to the collectibles that you own. So I think we've got everything, um, you know, we've got a, a nice, well-rounded system that, you know, even if you come in at the beginning, um, you still have some advantage. If you are a power user, then this is going to give you the, you know, sort of the advantage that you want, um, as well as some extra features like the MCP Pro, which, you know, could potentially help early users coming in who really want to sort of boost, boost their way up the, uh, up the levels. So um, yeah, very excited to get this uh, this article out. It's, it's not it's not a huge departure from you know what we started scoping out uh, around a year ago, but uh, as I mentioned on one of the other AMAs, we do have a lot of very valuable user feedback, and obviously we've polled um, you know some key people in the community to make sure that we're you know sort of aligned with with what our community wants so once we put this article out we'll uh, of course as always be looking forward to feedback and, and ideas mm -hmm. and uh yeah fantastic and just to give people a general timeline because obviously the article coming out does not mean that it, the whole program goes live on bb are we do we have a rough sort of eta for when people can expect the first rollout of the mcp in the end? Yeah, well, didn't I say 2023? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Set expectations. <laughs> <No, actually. laughs> uh, so, yeah, we, as soon as the articles come out, we will be um, commencing development. Uh, I'm not going to commit to any timelines just yet, but obviously we know that everyone wants the uh, the MCP as fast as they can. Uh, and we have, and in the article, we have actually broken down a bit of a roadmap as to exactly how we're going to roll out the, the master collector. There's obviously some functionality that we already have kind of built in place that is is the low hanging fruit, um, and then we'll basically roll the master collector out in various phases um, yeah. for the, over the coming months. All right, fantastic. That uh, is sure to get some people talking, but that is only one of two articles that people are waiting for at the moment.